What's going on? What's up, man? How you doing? How's it going? All right. Scott, nice to meet you. Hey, Tim. Nice to meet you. Oh, meet you. Yeah. What's up, Tim? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Good, good. Pleasure oh. to meet you. You want to uh, sit right here? Is that okay? Oh, okay, okay. So how's it going, man? Good, good, good. God, glad to have you in here, man. Like, super, super uh, humbled to have you in here, man. Thanks. Uh, we'll make it quick, dude. Uh, five minutes tops. Um, uh, so basically, we'll just kind of run down what you got going on, and yeah, I got a girl is it freestyle? You know the room, you bringing them in. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So uh, you're gonna help me host this countdown if that's cool. Yeah, we can do all of that. We're kicking it off with uh, with uh, the new Rihanna track that just came out today, Rihanna and Drake. So. Oh, you're playing it because Hi. Rihanna hey. and Drake. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm Scott. Nice Boy, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Are you got you're uh, you're obsessed, you're right? Obsessed, yeah. yeah. You're obsessed. <laughs> you look that like that. Yeah, one more, right? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but one more, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So pull the shut. Hey. Oh. All right. Uh, so I got those guys. I got those. You guys gonna be talking too? You wanna? Yeah. You wanna get in on the action as well? Okay. Uh, can you? You guys mind sharing that mic right there? Perfect. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, and for our other sister in the bathroom. All right, ready to go? Yeah, let's go. All right, three, two, one. Uh, it's time for the countdown, ladies and gentlemen. Top ten of the evening, according to you, and we've got a very special guest in the house tonight, Mr. Timberland. Hey, What's going on, man? Me too. <laughs> yes, yeah, we got obsessed in the building, by the way. Hey, as well. what's up? This is your group that yeah. you're uh, touring the country with right now, correct? Yeah, just, you know, doing the promo, showing them how it's done. And then they'll be on their own. <laughs> got to school them a little bit. <laughs> no, I just got to just watch them. Make sure they got it. Because <laughs> they're going to be super big. So I got to make sure okay. they <laughs> Yeah, you got to keep it. Yeah, right, right. For, what the, for <laughs> you, what's about to happen. Well, listen, you got a lot going on right now. You got a mixtape out right now, correct? Yeah, that's, you know, having fun with the culture. Yeah, uh, what, what's it called? Uh, King State King. King State King. It's out. It's free. You can download it now. Where can they get it? MyMixtape.com. My it's probably everywhere now. Right, SoundCloud. right. SoundCloud is everywhere now. And you got a, you're dropping an album in February, right? Mm, probably April. April? April. Textbook Timbo, right? Oh, yeah, I got to make sure. Because I, I, I got a shocker that I'm almost close to sealing the deal. I didn't tell you about that. <laughs> um, and once I do this... It, it, this this will be a good this will be a good one. So I I gotta make sure I seal this one deal. And then you can finalize the album. Then I can I I can it, well, I'm gonna drop a single now. I'm gonna drop stuff from it now. Okay. Um, but it's just like you know like you gotta be a good moment. Gotta, you gotta be yeah. Be you gotta time moment. it out right. You gotta time yeah. it. You're you're pretty good at doing that though. Yeah. I mean. Like everybody get mad at me like <laughs> for God's sake. So are you gonna put it out? I'm like nah man. I gotta wait on God's time. I gotta. I gotta pray on these things. I gotta think about this before I just drop. Sometimes I get anxious. I'm like, and you know, you look at your peers. I look at Kanye. I text him. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking like, of which, at, and I might look at Rihanna. I see her today. I'm like, you and Drake. I gotta, think, I gotta see this. This is this a big chess game going on here. So I'm like, okay, now how do I jump over here so I can get to the king? Did you see the beef today, by the way, on Twitter between Wiz and Kanye? <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about this. <laughs> okay. And this is going to be a great subject matter. Yeah. There's no beef. You know why? It's all promotion. Did you hear them talk at all? Did you? Right. Did anybody, did anybody say anything? No. All you saw was like you reading on TV, EmpireToday.com. Letters. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about letters, y'all. Put beef, I mean words that are in black and white, and people are going crazy. For Until you hear it coming out, out of their mouth. Like, I feel like that's just, I come from the world of we speak to each other. I don't know, like when I look at some tech, I'm just like, I'm watching it, and I'm like. It can't be real. Y'all are tripping <laughs> about text messages like you don't see the person. Right. We don't even know. They could be each other's house. For all y'all know, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? Planning it's all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know. Yeah. But y'all making a big deal. Like, thank America. Oh, man. Thank yeah, totally. oh, man. Some things could be promotion. You don't know. Like, we are smart people. We are right. not, we are not idiots now. <laughs> like, <laughs> we are artists for a reason. Like, you know, like, it's like if I could captivate you on this little thing, that's amazing right. to me. 
and we're going to have a long conversation about something that we did not hear. It's the perfect form of promotion, too. I mean, real or fake. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, did, we did not get neither one of them say anything. <laughs> so we are, we are promoting text messages. So, all right, so let's move on from, <laughs> yeah. from Wiz and Kanye. Uh, so you're a legend in the music business. You've been doing stuff with people. Yeah, I mean, you've had your hand in pretty much every major music movement in hip-hop and R&B and pop for the last 20 years. What's, what's the next move? I want to attack country. You want to attack country? Are you and JT working on a country album? I saw the thing yeah, on TMZ a couple months ago. Oh, are we working on a country? I don't know. We're you got a studio in Nashville, I mean, right? We, I mean, I work out of Nashville, but sometimes, but I, I just, it's just a, just a, it's just a goal of mine more. Right. And because I love country music, I love the, what the words say. It's not, see, people it's understand, like, I'm a producer. Not, mm -hmm. I'm not... I listen to everything. <laughs> you're, not, you're not putting on a cowboy hat and picking up a guitar. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I would just to learn. Yeah, right. Immerse what, yourself. What, what, it. what it yeah. is. So I can say, when I, you know, and I tell my kids, if they joke about something, I'm like, oh, no, don't do that. Mm -hmm. And then I can go show them that lifestyle. It's like, you know, as you get older, I want to, I don't want to make fun of something. It's like, I would do something just yeah. to see, you know, like, what it is. Like, you saw Brad Pitt in that movie. Um, Keep your mind open to it. Yep. The Reverend. Like, yeah. he, he really kind of lived in the... <laughs> The wood, they said, just to get that feel right. to do that role. So yeah, I'm at that kind of stage in my life. <laughs> they, they lived that life for a minute for yeah. that movie. Yeah. That's crazy, man. I, so, go ahead. You were about to say something. No, I'm just saying that I might want to do, I do want to do country, but Justin and I, we haven't sit there and plot it on country music. You right. Know, we just like, we both from the country. You know, and that's just, an untapped, that's an untapped source of music for you. Like, that's something yeah, I feel to like, explore. I feel like, yeah, I feel like the message that could be given from us can relate to country people. I think that people who like country music because it's all country music is about stories and feeling. Right. And I think we have enough of that in our life and what we've been through, the struggles and the, the triumphs that we overcome. That's country music. I feel that. I feel that. Uh, listen, man, uh, uh, <laughs> some of the things that stick out in my mind when I think about you in music history, uh, one of them is on the Fade to Black Tape when you played the beats for Jay Z, specifically "Dirt Off Your Shoulder," that that kind of like you know I grew up in Pittsburgh. We, there wasn't a huge hip hop scene here in Pittsburgh, but that kind of like opened you know just, really? just yeah. I mean I, that just like kind of like Jay Z and everything that you've done with with artists like Jay Z, Drake, uh, you know Rihanna, uh, you know, J T. You know it's it's kind of opened up this my mind to to different forms of music in general and and you know just kind of i think everyone that's wild. i mean it's intriguing to hear you talk like that because i'm i just look at me just doing a painting of an idea right that's in my head and it comes out right but to y'all it's like it's a movement to me it's a call it's a cultural thing to me like that you know <laughs> wow that's an honor I, I, I didn't look at it that way. Yeah, no. I, honestly, it was it, that was kind of a life changing thing for me. Another thing that jumped out to me, uh, you you're a DJ as well, and you were, we saw you here in Pittsburgh a couple years ago when you were with Jay Z on the Magna Carta tour. Yeah. Um, it, there's a funny story behind how you started DJing. Can you delve into that a little bit? Um, I don't. The only story I know that I just wanted to spin records, and the records that, and when I started learning how to produce. The reason why I learned how to produce is because people didn't make the beats that I wanted to hear anymore. Like, it okay. was like, it was little, it was corny. Right. <laughs> I was like, I can't mix this. I need, I need to make my own type right. of beats. And that's, that's kind of how you got beats. into it then? Just kind of, you, you wanted to do your own thing. You weren't satisfied with... No. Okay. I think people was falling off to me. Yeah. And I was like, man, ain't no good music coming out. Where's Magoo at these days? Um, Anybody estate. ask you that? They you always play? ask me that, but he does, he does real estate. Oh, yeah? Yeah. See, he was smart. Like, people use, we were kind of smart at our, at our early age. You know, he took his money and invested in the real estate. Right, right. Okay, now the ladies from Obsessed, how you doing over there? Fantastic. Fantastic. What's your story? Where are these, where are these ladies from? We're from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> yeah. More southern, we got more southern folks. So you're from right. Virginia, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm from Virginia. And, and so what's, what's your next move? So um, we have a song on King Stays King on Timbaland's 
uh, mixtape now, and then uh, pretty soon we will be <laughs> right here. Pretty soon we'll um, we'll be hopefully releasing a single and then an album. But right now we're just on tour. Um, we've only known Timbaland for a few months, so we're blessed to be here. And and you like what these ladies are doing, huh? They pretty. They they remind me of. Uh, they got the same energy as Justin Timberlake, and it's only I would know. The people won't understand. It's a more of a personality, charismatic, right. like feel how they carry themselves. And they kind of know where they where they going. Right. And Justin always knew where he was going, and they had that same kind of like calling. Right. Okay. Wow. You. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just compared you to Justin Timberlake. Hey, that's mind blowing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you know, not and people. What people might say, not you know, talent. It's different when you compare somebody. So for me, I look deep. I look at right. that, like being from the South. Like, are you really Southern people? You know what I'm saying? We know Southern people, and I know if he saw them, he would be like. Wow, it reminds me of, like my cousin. Yeah, you know, right. You know, like, yeah, yeah. Like, and, you, and you know who would make it. Just like in the Mickey Mouse Club, it was Britney. You know what I'm saying? They knew who had it. Mm -hmm. Like you knew who had it from being from the South. You just know it's one. It's a Southern thing. You like, mm, you got something. <laughs> well, again, Timbaland obsessed. It was uh, a pleasure having you guys here in the studio. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you got to make sure. Have you ever had Primanti Brothers? No. While you're here in the city, and you're going to be down in the Strip District tonight, too, right? So you're yeah. going to be downtown this year. You're going to be downtown. Make sure you try a Permani Brothers sandwich. I think they're open. Are they open 24, 24. hours? Yeah. The one down in the Strip Permani? District. Permani, Permani Brothers. Brothers. They, they put the fries and slaw on the sandwich. Like, it's all... You got to try it, dude. It's, it's good original. stuff. It's a Pittsburgh original. You see, I'm a Man, that's the best of my <laughs> <laughs> Messing up your New Year's resolution. Well, we need something to eat, man. We ain't had nothing to eat. Okay. Right? For real. That's, okay. that's what we were saying. Yeah. We're living oh, man, on these sandwiches sound good, but that might, that might help it mess us up. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, sir, thank you so much. Thank for, you. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, for coming <laughs> in. You. And uh, where can they go to get you? They follow you on Twitter, uh, yeah. Instagram, all that stuff? Yeah, you know, you know I think everybody know me at Timberland. I just, that's at so Timberland. easy. It's more about them. Right, <laughs> okay. Our We're, Instagram is we are obsessed, but obsessed is spelled O B S 3 S C D. Right, yeah. right, right. Gotcha. All right. The only difference is my Snapchat is me, 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 Timothy. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for having us. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. yeah.